Today, in the world of forensic science, we are going to talk to you about flies. More specifically, blowflies. You know the annoying buzzy things that fly around your head and eat dead bodies? Yeah, those. You'd never guess it, but these insects are actually beneficial and help solve some of the toughest murder cases all around the world. So what are blowflies and what do they do? Blowflies look a lot like common houseflies, except that they are attracted to dead corpses, both animal and human, and not your food. Uh, unless you're a cannibal, and then I guess they're attracted to your food. Anyway, these flies arrive quickly, usually around minutes after death, and find the body by gases released from the corpse. From there, they lay their eggs with their babies in them and are around the nasal and oral cavities, where the gases associated with decomposition are emitting from. It takes about 12 to 24 hours for the eggs to hatch, depending on the weather. When the eggs hatch, they are in the first larval stage. The blowfly goes through three instar stages. These stages are what eat the flesh of the dead decomposing body. These three stages take about four to five days, and then the larvae bury into the soil and develop into a pupa. And after one to two days, they hatch as an adult blowfly. Hold up. What does this have to do with forensic science and murder cases? Well, since blowflies arrive at the body minutes after death, this makes them the first at the scene. Since they are the first at the scene, they can tell when the animal or human died and began decomposing, giving an approximate time of death or post-mortem interval. Forensic entomologists can actually collect some insects and use the oldest ones to tell how long the corpse has been de decomposing. This is proven to be the most accurate evidence of the post-mortem interval. With this evidence, forensic scientists can tell when a corpse died or was killed, and this can help convict people of crimes. Fun fact! The larva can also tell if a person was using drugs before they died. They absorb the drug through the tissues they eat, and this can affect their lifespan. Let's all take a moment to understand this is all because of a little bug. That's crazy! 